In this tutorial of our find and replace in Google Sheets using Google Apps Script series, we are going to look at find and hide rows. Now this is going to be a three part series where we look at three different functions to find and hide rows in Google Sheets with Google Apps Scripts. In this tutorial, we're just going to cover the most simple way to find and hide rows uh, with our Apps Script function. To play along, you can grab a link to the starter sheet in the description below. Let's get cracking. Open up the starter sheet and go to extensions and app scripts to get into the app script IDE. What we're going to do in this tutorial is hide any row that contains Koala in it. So that Koala could be in, in any one of these columns. We're going to create a function that hides the rows based on the selection. And then we're going to create a runsies function to run that to simulate that we can use this function in other functions. And we're going to have two variables here. The first constant variable, that means it won't change. And that's going to be text. And that text is our search text. And that's going to be koala. They call me Caramello. Koala. And then we've got uh, another constant variable. And that's going to be the sheet name that we want to look in. Now you can run this find and hide rows in a selected range, uh, a sheet, or over the entire workbook. For this tutorial, for the convenience, we're just going to use the sheet name. And the sheet name we want to use is uh, this one we're working in here. And I'll just double click it down here, hit Control C to copy and Control V to paste so I don't make a mistake. Cool. So now we need to create the function that we're going to use to find koalas and then hide those rows for koalas. So let's go up here where it says my function and change that to hide all rows with val. Fairly explanatory. And we want this function to take three parameters. So let's just go up here and just make some comments to make things a bit easier for us. And what we want it to do, this function to do is hide or unhide all rows that contain the selected text. And our first parameter is going to be a string and that will be text. We'll call that text. And that's our search text, the text to find. And the next parameter is going to be the sheet name. So that's going to be a string again, and that'll be called sheet name, the target sheet. And then our last parameter, is going to be a boolean, that's true or false. And we wanna say, and it's gonna be optional. So we'll put it in square braces and we'll call this is hide. And if the user does add this as a parameter, we wanna say if it's true, we want to hide. So true equals hide, uh, comma, false equals unhide. Awesome, it's not going to return anything. So let's head over here, add in these parameters. So text, oh, text, sheet name, and is hide is optional. So we need to add in a variable here that it will be set to true if it's not being used. And let's just head down to our runsies function here and we'll say hide, it's already there. It should be filled in with our hints now. So the first one is a text and string. So it's going to be text for our koala and sheet name. Then is hide and we can set it to true here because we want to hide all our koalas. So they're shy and reserved animals. All right, cool. So let's go in here. Now this is this will be fairly familiar to you if you've been following along with the Find and Replace series. Uh, we first need to grab our spreadsheet. So spreadsheet up. Get active spreadsheet. That's a method. So put some braces around it. Now, if you've been playing along in this Find and Replace series, you probably know what's next. I'll give you a hint. What we need to do is find all the koalas in our sheet tab. So pause now, see if you can figure out the next few three or four lines of code and come back and watch what I do next. So const sheet equals ss.get sheet by name. And that's going to be our sheet 
name, which is this argument here. And then const text finder. And that text finder is going to use the sheet. And then we're going to call the create text finder class. And that's going to require a search value, which is going to be our text. And next we want an array of all the occurrences that we find. So const all occurrences. And that's going to be equal to text finder dot find all. And that's going to return a constructor containing all the cell locations where Koala exists. So from our constructor for each cell location, all we really need is the row that the Koala is found on so we can hide that row. So let's just put in a space here and let's go all occurrences and then we're going to loop through the occurrences with a for each loop and set a variable in here where each cell is our parameter and little arrow function. What we're going to do next is const called row and we'll use cell dot get row. It's going to grab our row here and then we're going to say if is hide. So if we do want to hide the row. Okay, and then we're going to go sheet dot hide rows. And inside that rows, all we're going to say is we want to hide row. Cool. And then else, if is hide is set to false and we want to unhide the rows, we can go sheet dot show rows and row and save. Okay, let's go ahead and run it. Okay, and you can notice on the left hand side here that we've had some rows hidden. So we've got one, two, three, four rows hidden. Let's go ahead and unhide them, make sure we didn't make any mistakes here. Okay, so we had two koalas there hidden. Cool. Uh, then we've got one koala here. Yep. Great. Another koala over here. Fantastic. And then another koala here. So it's worked well. Let's just click it one more time. Nice, that's hidden. And let's say we want to unhide now. So let's change this true to false. And hit run. So all those rows are unhidden. Awesome. So this simple function is quite effective when you don't have a large range. But what happens if we have a larger range like we have here? It can slow things down a little bit. So what we're going to do in the next tutorial is find a way for any time we have koalas that are adjacent to one each other, batch them together so we're only hiding, hiding this range instead of making a hide call for each and every time we find a koala. That should save us some processing time and reduce the amount of calls back to the sheet. So if you want to get a notification of when the next tutorial in the series comes out, hit that notification bell and subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. Until next time.